So the question is, Irv and and Mooch, is that how much time is Tyrod Taylor going to have? Do you think, Steve, they're still going to, with the first overall or fourth overall pick, choose a quarterback? I don't think in the first pick they need to. No, that's the point. Right? The Barkley kid, you You know, we all fell in love with the kid. Just watch him, listen to him. You know what I mean? He's not only a great kid, a great player, he's going to be the great face of any organization. you got to have him in Cleveland, right? That's, That's my thought. And then the fourth... If their guy, if they in their evaluations of quarterbacks, if they have one that's just heads and shoulders above the others, um, figure out a way to get that guy for your future. But if it's a coin flip between Allen and Rosen and yeah. and Darnold, they're going to get one of them at four, easy. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's going to be sitting right there for them. And then they have to decide: do we do that, or do we get a Chubb, or do we get somebody else that starts? Tyrod Taylor can do this for us. While we're building up our team, maybe they get uh, another guy in the uh, second round or later. Use those twos and move up and mm. go get a another good quarterback, whether it's Mayfield or whoever. They've got so many ways of improving their team and getting that quarterback of the future while Tyrod Taylor plays and holds down the fort for a while. Would you do what I've been pounding the table for the Browns to do, which is use all of some of the ammunition that they have still? I mean, they could trade. They could trade a couple of twos if that's what it takes, and still have a two for the second night to trade up from four to two and just get both, and not even risk it. Get your top quarterback. Get Saquon Barkley. We'll see you Friday night for one pick, and then we'll see you on Saturday, and then we'll see you in the fall. Ooh. Would you do that? Probably not. I'd probably oh, take my yeah. chances yeah. that there's somebody's going to be there at four. If you, but if you had now, if you had that if, quarterback that was in here, that I mean. You know, if and w- the Andrew Luck that was in here right now, mm-hmm. then you say yeah. Well, who do you, you think's know. closest? To, who do you think but, is closest to I, that I, based I, I on the evaluation know. so far? Eye in the sky and what we saw at the combine. I mean, I, even I, with Darnold not throwing. Yeah, I, I don't know that anyone of Steve. It you prob- got some of these guys on a grease board. I, I did. I and I and I hate oh, I hate ranking the quarterbacks. But you this have is, to at some point. I know. Yeah, that's, what we, that's what we do. I hate <laughs> listening. Listen to me. Five o'clock I Eastern on NFL the Network, I might say. Having not met them and look in their eye and get okay. a feel for them. Got it. Okay? Ha- did you meet all of them? No, I didn't meet all of them. So okay. so uh, I met some of them. And so, uh, you know, but Darnold probably would be that guy right now based Stone's on everything I know, everything. the potential, the arm, the size, his skill set. Probably him. But if the if the Browns think that there are two or three or four guys in there mm. that could very well end up a starter for them, then they just sit and let it let it play out and use all of their picks because they'll get somebody at four. They could use the twos and move up and get somebody later in the first round. But but if they have a conviction, this is our Andrew Luck or this is our guy, then you got to find a way to get them. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.